my name is Jordan Johnson and I'm a director with Esborn Books and More and I'm so excited to share with you some of our newest releases for older children. The first one that I want to show you is the Cut and Color Playbook Seasons. This is a really neat book that has great images for your child to cut, color, and paste to create these stunning layered works of art. There are instructions in the front to help you as well, and you can either do it with your child as a fun activity or they can do it independently. It is targeted for ages 6 through 10, but either way it would be a great way for your child to sharpen their cutting skills. Now this next book here is Cookie Crumbs. It's another unique book. It has lots of poems of different lengths inside, and the poems celebrate many different holidays, which we may not even realize exist. Everything from National Hat Day to National Vinegar Day. We have two new additions to our beginner nonfiction series. The first one is Ants, and the second one is Pigs. These are for ages six and up, and you can see there's lots of vibrant photographs in there. Um, as well as some great information and not too overwhelming on the text. So those are really great um, starts for nonfiction. This one is called Olga de Polga. It's for ages six and up. This book is by Michael Bond, the author of Paddington Bear. This is a great read aloud for ages six and up and can maybe even be enjoyed by some younger children um, if you were reading a little bit at a time. But it is about um, a guinea pig who has lots of big ideas. So that's also a really fun book that's sure to be a classic. Now the first chapter book I wanted to show you, or the first chapter book series, is The Secret Mermaid. This is the first installment in this series and it's called The Enchanted Shell. And this is for ages 7 and up. And this particular series is about the shellkeeper mermaids and about a little girl that joins them for some magical mermaid adventures. Another new series is Sandy Lane Stables. This is for ages 8 and up, and you can get an idea of the text size there. And this also has two other books that we have so far in addition to this one, and this one in particular is about a boy named Tom whose cousin allows him to borrow a horse over the course of the summer, um, and the horse is not in great physical condition, and he's been deemed unfit to ride, and it's about what Tom decides to do with this horse over the summer. One of the series that people are most excited about right now is The Impossible Quest. It has great reviews so far. It's targeted to ages 9 to 13, but could also um, be read by some younger children depending on maturity and reading level, and also is in being enjoyed by older children and even um, adults as well. But it's about two boys and two girls and their adventure, this one in particular, to escape from Wolfhaven Castle. And you'll have to read a little bit more to find out more about their overall adventure, but they are trying to find their loved ones. So that's another great series. This book is Drones. It's our newest addition to our Discovery Adventure nonfiction series. Drones are really um, popular right now. People are just really enjoying learning about space and things like that. So this has everything from where can drones fly, where humans cannot, how a fire rescue drone can save lives. Lots of fun information in there as well. This is another nonfiction series for older children. Uh, this one is ages 9 to 13, and these are true stories of, tr of crime and detection. We also have uh, true stories of gangsters, um, polar adventures, and Everest adventures. And this one in particular would be perfect for any child who's into CSI and things like that. It has true stories of runaways, kidnappers, um, art forgers, forensic scientists, murderers, all of those suspenseful type stories. And for the same age range, we have A Year in My Life. On the front here, it says 365 scribble and sketch activities, and that's a great description. Basically, this is just encouraging your child to use their imagination every day of the year with this uh, really fun creative journal. It will be fun for them to do now, and it will be a great memento for them to have when they're older. And again, that's targeted for ages 9 to 13. The Story of Science is a really neat book. It's a hardback book, and this book introduces 
lots of scientists behind the greatest scientific discoveries in history, everything from black holes to magnets to microscopic creatures, lots of neat things in this book. Great for a budding scientist. And then we have coding for beginners using Scratch. And Scratch is an, a computer language that is being used in some elementary schools. And this book provides a step-by-step -step instructions for getting started and for making games, animations, and more. So in this age of computers, this is a great book to help your child get started and give them an edge in careers that have to do with coding. Now this book is called Where's Will for anyone who loved Where's Waldo. This book is targeted for ages 7 through 11 and you'll be looking for William Shakespeare on the pages and also some of the characters in his plays and each play is summarized so that as your child is having fun they'll also be becoming knowledgeable on history's greatest playwright. So I hope that gives you a great idea of some of the different titles that we have for older children. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks so much.